Let's definitely place some uh, donation bins and stuff like that up here, as well as education boards. That way we get a little bit of money, because that's where most of the money came from. Back in the Arctic packs. So I definitely want to place those down. That way we uh we can actually kind of make some money back from these guys, right? Just put them on each corner there, and then right there in the middle. So that's good. Can I reach? Oh yeah, I, I I didn't set this to work to a work zone yet. That's uh, that's what I was about to do, and then they started placing them down. So let's do that here in just a moment. Work zones. Let's see, edit work zone. Which one's which? Entrance area, is that part of entrance area? Should that be a part of entrance area, or should it be a part of that? Lake water and power? That's kind of weird. It's got its own work zone here. I'm like, they did have some buildings over here. I suppose I could add this as a part of this then, huh? So there we go. Habitat's cheetah. There we go. I guess we could have that as a part of that, and then... It supposedly has Keeper not attended the habitat for a long time. Well, Keeper needs to come over here, so... Keeper, come over here. Yeah, it kind of complicates things when we have, like, work zones where Keepers and stuff like that supposed to go to specific areas uh so it's going to be kind of hard to keep track of that you know but for right now let's select these guys to see how they like the area I'm going to want a little bit less uh, yeah they're fine with the land area so that's good way more than they need uh they need like 700 something like that earlier on and when they have two of them yeah of course it goes up to 816 a little bit less or a little bit less long grass a little bit more short grass so we can do that by just getting rid of the long grass so let's go to terrain and turn some of the long grass into short grass so there you go, is that fine? Get rid of a little bit more long grass. And looks like they're good right here, you guys. Nice. I'll get rid of a little bit more, so that's good. Alright, so they're fine with a hard shelter. Uh, they don't need any plant coverage more than what they have right now. They have, like, a tree. Yeah, they literally have one tree, and they're fine with that, so that's good. Uh, we don't need to worry about that at all. I'm, I'll probably put, like, this tree. I'm like, I moved it out of this area. I'll probably put it over here. And then maybe some of these smaller ones in here. I'll, I'll slip them in randomly, sprinkle them in like this. So there you go. We have a, a few things here and there. Uh, maybe I'll even put this, like, medium-sized tree, like, over here. Uh, maybe in the back. So there you go. All right. So now we've got this area over here for the cheetahs. I don't know if they can climb the trees or anything like that. That'd be really cool if they could, though. But uh, let me select them now. And Richmond's not that good. Yeah, I know. Uh, but we need to get more heckin... Uh, mechanics to research stuff. Yeah, there's literally nothing there except for, of course, toy, which isn't sufficient enough for these guys, unfortunately. But there is supposedly a keeper hut over here, just by going by what the work zone just said a moment ago. That was a uh, lake, lake, yeah, lake power and water. There's only one person working here. What? Yeah, see, it's something like that. I, I kind of want to just set it to, instead of, instead of this, kind of want to set it to the entrance area, just because there's already a bunch of people there. So, yeah, maybe I will set this to entrance area instead. The mechanic, we're going to have that going every three months, every three months for vet, and then uh, every month for keeper. So yeah, let me let me go back to work zones. Let me go back to lake power and water, and let me get rid of the cheetah habitat. Uh, how do I do that again? How do I get rid of something? There you go. And then uh, let's go to both the entrance area and let's include the cheetah. So there you go. So the cheetah is there. That's good. And uh, hopefully they can take care of that. Now we did have a problem with. Mechanics not being able to research stuff, so perhaps I'll have maybe there. I don't know where we can put it because I'm like, there's not really that much room over here, if anything, for another uh, mechanic shop, unless I just place it down randomly and it's it's kind of like a shell or whatever, you know. I guess we place down another workshop there, maybe another one like right there. Then I suppose just kind of like a temporary sort of meme. So let's go to workshop. There it is, right there. I guess it could just be a Planet Zoo one. Just completely just bare bones as heck. So there you go. Another one right there. I'm going to place down another one over here. Just so they can research uh, stuff without being like having a queue outside or anything like that, right? So let's go back to uh, the work zones now. Let's go back to entrance area. Edit this work zone. And I think we're good now. All right, nice. Well, let's see. Let's uh, turn that back on. Unpause it now. Let's see if they're still going to be complaining. Oh, wait. Mechanic research is done. Nice. And it's one for habitats. That's good. All right, let's go to habitats now. So we unlocked uh, habitat blueprints. Uh, yeah, we didn't research. We didn't uh, research bear. I thought we researched berries right there. Unfortunately, I, I guess we didn't. <laughs> so that sucks. But let's call mechanic over to the solar panel now. So there you go. Elephants and zebras. Keeper's not attended there. So let's definitely uh, make sure this is. Yeah, it's been a year since the keeper's been there. Golly, they're supposed to. Yeah, they're supposed to go like every three months or every month, and then every three months for everything else, and they haven't been there. Golly. Yeah, yeah. I guess we need to get it more keepers. But look at that. The money's gone up here though. That's good. So that, I'm mean, like, we were at 20,000, now we're at 30,000. Seems like that makes sense now, you guys, to uh, maybe even raise the price a little bit more. Now that we have cheetahs, so 32, maybe. So uh, raise the price up to 32. Yeah, this year's profit is negative 3,800. It was like negative 18,000 or something like that earlier on. <laughs> so that's good. That, uh, that's, that's gotten a little bit better there. Let's go over to uh, viewing devices and whatnot. Let's get this now. And uh, I'm about to place this down here. And uh, Is there a... Hold on. 
There was one for, what is this? African bracelet. Ooh, a lot of decorative stuff here, like African shapes. And, whoa, and like statues and stuff like that. Ooh, there's like a Jeep right there. Yeah, we saw that earlier, I think, yeah. Uh, we can get rid of this here, though, so we can see a little bit easier. But back in the Arctic pack, let's see. There was something, I guess go to construction, then, huh? Arc. Uh, what was it called? Like a border? What was it called? It was something they put around the education board. Here it is. Educational Zoopedia frame, I guess? I guess so, huh? Okay, so I guess we can put this around the other uh, thing to make it kind of be a little bit more unique, I suppose you could say. So we put that down like right there. I uh, should probably have placed it the other way around because it's backwards. <laughs> but let's place that down like right there. Let's go to this. And let's uh, have... Yeah, see, look at that. that. That fits a little bit better. And then, of course, we can sneak a speaker on top of that as well. So we could have that right there. And then we could have kind of same thing right here. With another, oh, man. Ah, whatever. Let's select it and then rotate it like this. So there you go. And then let's get uh, construction. Let's get the other one. Ooh, look at that one. Which one do we want to put on the, the cheetah one, though? There you go. That right, looks fine. And eh, we can move it a little bit ever so slightly. Make it fit perfectly. That's about as good as I'll get. All right, nice. That one actually fits pretty well right there. Nice. All right, so now we have two education boards right there that we could use, like, custom ones. I don't know if they had any education boards here at all. That might explain why our education rating is so small. Let's go to, let's go to that map, actually. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing here. There is no, except for over here in the, uh, wait, why is that one yellow, though? Incorrect or unassailable. Whoa, did the Titan Beetle or whatever that is, did that die? What happened here? I guess it did. Yeah, leave that as empty. The Titan Beetle died. Man. Or did it, did I never put it over there? I thought I put it over there. Is it trading? Yeah, I guess it died. Well, that sucks. Man, I guess we'll have to get another one then. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, looking at the education heat map here. There is nothing going on. Like, absolutely and utterly nothing. No education. That explains why our education rating is literally like nothing. <laughs> Except for, like, I guess one is, like, as low as you can go, maybe? Because I don't think I've ever seen it below that. But now we have these cool... I guess I can save it. Here it is right here. Save selection as a blueprint. So, I'll also save that as a uh, new blueprint. And call that as a uh, African Education Board... Uh, I guess number one. Oh, I can't do a number sign. Uh, African border around an education board. There you go. And then tags, uh, education, I guess. I don't know if this puts, like, on the, uh, the thing for other people to use. That'd be really cool if, uh, if so. Other, I guess other building? Yeah, I don't know where to put it on this, you guys. Okay, let's do other then. There you go, other. <laughs> Alright, well, that's one right there. Let's do another blueprint right here, and I guess it'll pop up over there and I can use it again without having to copy and paste it, so that'll be good. Let's do African Education Board number two. And uh, there you go, so now we have some blueprints right there. So how do I access those? Are those uh, mine? My blueprints? And then I get rid of that search. And yeah, there they are right there, hey! And then I can just place them down like this, nice. Really, really cool. Well, let's uh, place them up here, get rid of this heat map. I don't need that. Place them up here. Place them next to the donation bins, because that's usually what I do anyways. So uh, let's rotate it now. And let's try and uh, get this perfectly lined up. And right there is probably going to be fine. Do we have electricity all the way over here, though? I do not know. Oh, this does not have a speaker. I forgot about that. Whoops. So uh, let's move this now. But yeah, it does not have a speaker, so I'll definitely have to... Uh, if I do want a speaker, I guess I have to place one on top of it and then save it as another blueprint, maybe. I don't know if I could update a blueprint. I've never done it before <laughs> until now. So there you go. Hopefully it's going to be uh, adequate education rating for everything over here. But let's just move the third and final education board up here now. And I think that's fine. All right, nice. Set one to Cheetah. Yeah, no power, so I'm going to, uh, Cheetah. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to power this over here. Probably going to put something over here, right? I'm like, yeah, there's a solar panel there. I, I guess if anything, I can get rid of the solar panel and put down, like, a, a wind turbine or or a uh, just a transformer there, I suppose. That, that'll probably be fine. Oh, yeah, this, hold on. The tour there. Oh, yeah, that's actually, cut. that's... Really lucky that that doesn't even touch the negative impact on guests from the uh, the water treatment uh, thing right there. But it probably will if I place down. You know what? I'm going to get. I'm going to move that anyways. But that's actually really really crazy right there, you guys. Let's get rid of the uh, solar panel right there. And of course, if we place down a transformer here, we're going to have to. Uh, how am I going to do this? I guess add it to that group, and then uh, there you go. Added it to that, and then uh, connect that up like that. All right, nice. 
But yeah, now now the negative impact thing is, yeah, it is touching the other uh, tracks right there. But we'll worry about that a little bit later. I do want to edit the tracks. Can I, I, I'm like, the, the cheetah area is done right now. I kind of want to edit the tracks, but I can't do that. Yeah, I have to close it first, so. Let's close it. There you go, it's closed. And let's edit the track now. And let's get rid of these over here. Let's, let's try and make this wiggle around up here instead. So yeah, we, we can delete it all the way up to that. Grab these tracks over here, delete these. But let's set the length up to like 52 or so feet. That's fine. And make this curve around like this. There you go. And make it continue to curve and then kind of go up here and then turn. That'll probably be fine. And keep going straight. Yeah, that'll... Oh, it's going around to like a tree right there. There you go. And I kind of wanted to go across that like bridge. It's like right here. Then I suppose I could get the rail to go past the cheetah area here. Let's make this curve around, I suppose. And then basically go underneath this pathway right here. There you go. I had to turn off angle snap for that too, uh, to fit properly. But yeah, that, that seems fine right there now. So we could turn this into where? Oh, oh, it connects over there. Okay. Well, I guess we can start curving over there now. Let's uh, sharpen that turn ever so slightly. Make sure we do not get the negative effect sort of meme from <laughs> that, uh, that that thing right there. That transformer just placed down. And I uh, connect it up like so. Very nice. Is that finished? Let's uh, it, finish editing the tour. Let's go to negative effects. Yep, that's not touching the, uh, the tour now, so that's good. All right, nice. I'd say that's fine. And uh, over here, I might, I might, I just kind of wanted it to go around the water and stuff like that, but... If we add more stuff over here, I could, of course, make it kind of wiggle into here and then have it wrap around, I suppose. I don't know. We'll worry about it when the time comes. <laughs> but now we can reopen it there. So there you go. That's going to be reopened now. So that's great. And now uh, I kind of want to check the education rating. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's going to take a little while for the education rating to go up. Yeah. So I'll worry about that some other time. But the water treatment over here is failing now. Set this one to be... Uh, look at all the people in this heckin' staff work zone here. Sheesh. Set this one uh, routine visits every six months at least. <laughs> And a uh, mechanic is being requested already. Let's set this one uh, every six months as well. Keeper's not attended here. I thought I'd call a keeper over here for a long time, but I guess not. Oh, we just got something right there. Uh, African wild dog just had an offspring. Nice. So breed six new habitat animals of different species. We got that one. Looks like all we need to do now is get the education rating up. And that shouldn't be too hard. Just have to place down a bunch of different education, like signs and stuff like that now, huh? And uh, we'll be fine, I suppose, huh? Because... Right now, I don't think there's any education like signs at all, except for, of course, the exhibit and now the cheetah area. And of course, uh, over here, we have one exhibit that does not have a creature next to it because that Titan Beetle died, unfortunately. So that sucks. And let's actually get another Titan Beetle now. So let's go back to uh, exhibit trading now. So I can just find a... Oh, here's a gold one right here. Nice. Ah, these... Well, yeah, these, these things don't live too long, I suppose, huh? It's probably not the best idea to get these when they don't live too long, but... I suppose this one would be fine. I suppose if anything, we can get a male and a female. That'd be good. Let's let's get them then, huh? So there you go. Adopt that male for some conservation credits. That way, you know, if they do die, at least we'll still have an offspring, maybe? Oh, and here's a gold uh, female with the listing expired. Man. Oh, here's a bronze female. That's, that's not too bad, but the longevity's not the best. But then again, these don't have long longevity in the first place, I don't think, right? So hopefully they breed and uh, give us another baby baby. Sent to zoo. There you go. And uh, as we learned back in the Arctic pack, we don't have to send any exhibit animals through quarantine, so that's great. But yeah, right now, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now, you guys. I think all I need to do is just place the... I guess, yeah. Place the, Maybe we place some speakers here, because I think that also gives us some education rating. Perhaps. Oh yeah, look at that! It actually shows up in the uh, education stuff over here when I search for it. And up, oh yeah, look at that! I could upload it to the Steam Workshop if I want to, but I think I'm going to keep it as is. <laughs> I don't think I need to uh, upload it to the Workshop. Uh, especially right now, I do want to add oh, educational speaker. I do want to add these speakers to it, too. So maybe I'll do that to this middle one and we'll probably be fine. There you go. Set that one to Cheetah. And now we can look at the education heat map and see how long that actually expands. Uh, we can make it come out all the way out to there. There we go. That's a pretty big one right there, you guys. Nice. So go, let's go up to 20. Sure, let's just max it out at 20 uh, range right there. So that's good. All right, nice. But yeah, I'll probably modify my little blueprint down there with the uh, the speakers. That way we don't have to like manually add them like that. So that should be good. Look at the, look at the cheetahs running around though. Looks like they're having some fun. Seems like they like the area over here. And of course they're drinking some water right now out of the, the little fountain thing over here. We, we could make a little pond for them if we really want to. But I don't think they need a pond. So I don't think we need to 
add one if they don't need one, right? So, uh, they are also waiting on some food, I guess, huh? Yeah, and en enrichment too, so I suppose we can go to vet research and get one of our vets to research the cheetah, you know, a two-star vet, that should be fine. I guess they're still researching the Goliath frog right there, golly. Do they even have any... What's it called? Oh yeah, here is right here, research center, right? Yeah, research center. So we have to get another research center, I suppose, if we want to have a, uh, a vet researching them, so... Might want to just place one down randomly over here, I suppose. Maybe like right here. That would probably be fine, I don't think I can move that lamp. Oh, I can! Okay, let's let's move that lamp then. Let's move it like right here. <laughs> let's move it right there and twist it around a little bit. And let's let's see if we can place down a uh, another research center. So there you go. And place down like right there. Nice. All right. So hopefully now we could have uh, two vets researching things at once. That'd be great. So let's actually add that to the work zone as well. Oh, spotted hyenas. They're going to fight for uh, alpha status here in just a moment. We need to do that here in just a bit, you guys. Entrance area was at it. I think so. Yeah, we have to set it to entrance area there. And then also to food court. So there you go. Very nice. That's going to be great. So yeah, now we should have enough places for the vets to research both the cheetahs and the glide frog and anything else right there. But I think what I'm going to do for right now is, is pause the recording, place down education boards throughout the park, because I think it's going to be pretty boring and laborious for me to do on camera. And you guys basically just watch me do it. But you know, place stuff like right here. I can place down like a giraffe and a uh, uh, whatever these little th I forget what the springbok. <laughs> I can place down like a giraffe uh, education sign like right there, a springbok education sign like right there. And then uh, even up here, yeah, I can place down another giraffe, another springbok, maybe another giraffe, another springbok, another giraffe, another springbok, another giraffe. And then over here, elephants, elephants and zebra, elephant, zebra, just kind of alternate between the two different creatures that are in the same area, you know? And then uh, same thing for the spotted wild dogs or whatever, and then the hyenas do them as well, and uh, maybe even update my blueprint, like I said earlier, with the uh, speakers. That way we could have some speakers going on right there to give them some education rating. Because right now, yeah, the education rating is still is 1.0, which I don't think I've seen it lower than that. So I guess that is the lowest it can go. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, and then over here, we're probably going to need to place down some like street lights and stuff like that. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I definitely want to remember to save my game. There you go. Just, to, just in case anything bad happens, you know, we don't lose too much progress there. <laughs> I don't know if I could actually change how long the audio- Oh, oh, man, yeah, every time it, like, jumps like that, I always think it's, like, gonna crash. Because it usually is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to place down, like, street lights and stuff like that over here, but I- I, I guess I'll- Are these street lights? I guess they are. They're not really lighting up too much. They're not even lighting anything up at all. Yeah, no power- <laughs> Oh, yeah! So, if this isn't powered over here- let me see. Oh yeah, I guess they're not powered because whatever over here needs to be repaired. Yeah, it needs to be repaired, that's why. Okay, I was about to say, like, those lights over there are not lighting anything up at all, but I guess this is what it looks like when they are properly lighting things up. And they actually look kind of cool. So I guess I'll just use these over and over again over there. And of course, place down benches, place down trash cans all over the place because these guys need to learn to use trash cans, right? Sheesh. But uh, other than that, I think the park is doing pretty well right now, you guys. We're actually making money, which is great. I might even raise the price again to like a, a nice round 35 or uh, 33, I guess we could do slight little increase right there. Just to, I'm like, we're making $5,000 of profit right now. Last year's profit was negative almost $6,000. So we're, we're, we're thankfully making profit right now, which is great. But, uh, of course, we, if we want to get more creatures in the park, bigger, better creatures, we're going to need even more money. So, uh, that's why I'm going to do some of these modifications here in just a bit to, uh, hopefully get us some more money in the park. And, uh, maybe, maybe we're going to place down, like, some shops or something like that, like, over here, too. That'll get us some more money, too. But, remember, getting, uh, like, these donation bins over here, that is, like, a huge income source. So, definitely want to remember to place a lot of these things down. But either way, I just ramp it on for a little bit longer than I need to. Wait, they're queuing outside the... What? There's... How many are here? I do not know, because we have... Here's a... Here's a workshop right here. Well, this one has someone inside of it right there. One out of one. Oh, this one had someone inside of it too, so I guess I have to get a third... Or a fourth! Sheesh. Well, I guess they're done in there, so... I don't know, maybe I'll move that tree and then place one here. <laughs> I'm like, I move the tree from, like, right here to here, and then I'll have to move the tree from, like, right there to there or something like that, then. Get another workshop. Sheesh. Because we have a lot of these, uh, these, these guys constantly doing things and even repairing this thing over here, which is great. Or, supposedly, he's walking away from it and, oh wait, no, never mind, I took a second to load in right there. It has full durability right now, so that's good. <laughs> but either way, like I said, going to pause the recording and, uh, place down a bunch of education boards, trash cans, benches, all that kind of jazz. You guys already know the drill if you guys have watched this far into the series. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. To see the breeding and release programs are going from strength to strength. That's the ticket.
And I also see you've adopted a number of uh, cheetahs. You're, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have your work cut out, <laughs> keeping them happy. Cheaters really prosper. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I've been sitting on that ever since you got them. <laughs> right, right. I should get back to packing. Now, where did I put those snow boots? God, that was terrible. Anyways, yeah, I, I was barely able to, to, to start recording right when I hit that uh, the silver star there. I knew that was probably going to happen while I was off camera adding the uh, the education boards and stuff like that. We do have some research here, though, for the uh, for the for the mechanic there. A lot of research just got done off camera while I uh, paused there. So, oh, yeah. And then we had a diseased animal discovered and we're, I've been quarantined like these giraffes. And this is, I think, the second one here, as well as every now and then, I, I, it seems like, you know, more and more creatures are going to be fighting for alpha status and whatnot. I've been trying to do that, uh, to take care of that. And uh, the zebras are... Wait, what? Incorrect ratio, springbok? I guess I need to take care of the spring... Yeah, the springboks, they keep on heckin' breeding like heckin' bunnies. It's crazy. But I need to... Where are the zebras at now? Low welfare for the spring... I know, everyone's going to have low welfare because I can... Uh... God, I'm going to have to look at the Zoopedia, aren't I? Hold on, let's go look at the Zoopedia. So, up to one male and up to 34 females. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> Golly. So, uh, I guess we have too many males, maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe even too many females. I don't know. That might that might be a thing. <laughs> let's see, though. So, let's see. Uh, animals. Uh, I don't need that. Springbok. What do we have here? Four males? Really? I guess a lot of, uh, some of the, some of the offspring started turning into adults there. So, yeah. I guess we're going to get rid of some of them, huh? So here we go, Springbok, let's try and find them. I just got rid of one of the adults, so let's try to get rid of some more adults here, you guys. Uh, four point, here's a male adult. Here's another male, yeah, look at that. These three right here basically just turned into an adult. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll send them to the trade center just like I did with their uh, the other one that I just got rid of. And then of course go to animal trading, animal storage, select all, and quick trade for $625, not bad. All right, it's about how you know, mechanic is not visited over here and who knows how long? Uh, it doesn't even say, geez. But uh, it needs to be at least every six months, I'd say. Keeper every month, vet every six months. I have been doing some training for the mechanics because uh, things have been breaking down and they have not been repairing everything, unfortunately, so that sucks. But over here, the uh, the zebra and elephant area, we need to, I guess, get rid of some of the zebras, huh? Because those are, yeah, those are the zebras. Two males, six females there. I assume we need to get rid of yet another male, I, or I, I I think I was looking at the zebras when I got the little notification saying, hey, you got the silver star, and then, of course, Bernie started talking to us. I don't know, I think it's just one male, and yeah, okay, one male, five females, so, uh, what do we have, seven females or something like that here? Yeah, so we, can, we you have to get rid of at least one male and at least one female, I think, right? So, let's figure out which ones we're going to be getting rid of here. Let's go to here, sort by maturity, and then go to Plains Zebra. Uh, so it's going to be 4.1, 4. Yeah, these two just became adults, it looks like. Or maybe... Oh, and, hey, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, no. Where's the... Uh, did I trade out the original adult? I might have. I don't know. Because these guys are, like, the same age. So I don't know which one to get rid of. Zade here? Let's see. Let's check his genetics. And Mary's terrible on him. This guy over here. Okay, Zade, I am going to have to get rid of you. I don't know what is wrong with you. You have such terrible immunity. I'm like, I'd, I'd hate to... Let's send him to the Trade Center. His longevity is not really that good. Or, no, the longevity on this one isn't that good. But for uh, Zade here, let's check his stats again. Genetics. Yeah, size is terrible. Longevity is terrible. Fertility is good, though. Immunity is terrible. So I guess we'll send him to a Trade Center, send him to another zoo, and they can breed him for whatever reason, even though he has terrible immunity. But it is what it is, right? Uh, I don't know if we're doing conservation stuff here, I forget. But, let's, uh, let's go to animal trading, and let's trade out that zebra. So, there you go. We trade for 187 buckaroos. So, there you go. Nice. Alright. Well, uh, what else do we have here? Oh, God! Animal died! Springbok died! Man! Call the vet over. Animals will fight due to overcrowding. Is it because of the... Yeah, the plain zebra. So, oh, yeah, the, the females now. Yeah. I need to get rid of some of the females, because... Uh, we had, I think, what was it, two uh, more females? So we just got rid of the male right there. Let's get rid of a female now. Or two females. At least two females. Maybe I'll get rid of even more. Uh, so the older ones, of course, are at the top of the list. Can't do pregnant ones, so get rid of that. I guess I'll just get rid of all the older ones. There you go. And, of course, just keep the pregnant one then, huh? 
And, uh, I guess release to wild? That shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. So there you go, 48 conservation credits right there. Nice! And, uh, mechanic research power. Yeah, see, this thing is failing over here. I've been trying to give, uh, these guys some training and stuff like that. That way they're going to be able to repair these things a little bit better, but this thing needs to be repaired every six months, or, uh, inspected every six months. There you go. <laughs> Alright, research for the mechanics. Barriers. Nice. I don't know what that unlocked, though. But, uh, mechanic is not attended. What? I, ch I thought I just told... Okay, mechanic, come over here. I like the barrier needs to be repaired. But either way, uh, all I did, actually, off-camera, before I, like, got the notification that we hit, like, the silver star thing, uh, which I don't know what we're at right now, uh, in terms of education. Yeah, we're at basically two stars right now, uh, for guest education. But either way, over here, this is all I placed down, was just, uh, oh, and by the way, speaker's back here. But, uh, you know, a giraffe education board with giraffe speaker, springbok education board with springbok uh, speaker, and then uh, another giraffe, another springbok, another giraffe, another spring- this is literally all I did, right? Oh god, prote- what in the world? Protesters? Protest- what are they doing? Protesters are angry about the low welfare of some of your animals. Improve the care given to your animals and they'll leave. Okay. So what are they complaining about? The giraffes. Okay. So what about this giraffe specifically is to- oh, the nutrition? Less drink cleanliness? Oh, the drink was dirty. Ooh! Hold on. This is- I, I guess those protesters were good in a way? Should've, uh, yeah, there- we have a water treatment here, water treatment over here. Does this thing need to be repaired or something like that? Because this thing doesn't seem to be re It seems fine! And the cleanliness of the water... Like, look at this, it's blue, it's not like- Yeah, see, this is over here, this is red! So that is terrible water that you do not wanna- Oh wait, did they drink out of that? Can they drink out of that? I think they can. <gasps> Ooh, if that's the case, uh, this is actually pretty bad right here, you guys. Man, there is so much going on right now. But mechanic, I need you to uh, repair that. And then I guess I'll have to get yet another, uh... Is this a staff thing right here? I think it is. Okay, well, I guess I'll get another water treatment thing and put that right there. And hopefully that's gonna clean up the water right there. Uh, oh yeah, and then by the way, I updated. You could actually update the uh, blueprints, which is really cool. But I updated both of them with the speaker, so that's awesome. Unfortunately, I saved them as... You know, with the cheetah, so every time I place it down, it has a cheetah speaker and a cheetah, uh, like, display right there. So I guess I have to manually change that every time, so that kind of sucks. But it's not really that big of a deal. But, uh, let's get a water treatment right here. Alright, well, there you go. So that now, that's hopefully going to be treating the water over here and making it nice and clean. So that's going to be great. And then, uh, let's see, let's check this now. So yeah, now that's, like, green. It's, yeah, being treated, so that's good. Uh, so hopefully that's not going to poison any other, you know, quote-unquote poison. Uh, it's just going to be slightly dirty, but hopefully it's going to be better for all these creatures over here. But uh, nothing over here is complaining, though, from low welfare, so I think it was that water. So I, I, th I guess that giraffe woke up, drank the clean water over here, and it's fine now, so that's good. Anyways, we do have uh, vet research and power thing is still fa- I called a mechanic over here! What is taking so long? Golly! Anyways, we have vet research. For the oh, look at that! So that's full, and by the way, the hyena got full, too. So spot hyena, hyena. Just needed, both of these just needed one research to, uh, to finish there, so that's good. Cheetah, though, finally got its level one done, so I guess we can finally give it some enrichment here in just a bit. It's taken forever for it to, uh, to get better, uh, more research there, so that kind of sucks. But, speaking of research, mechanic research. For staff facilities in Africa theme, and those just got finished, nice. Alright, kind of want to, like, drag over a heckin' mechanic and see, like, what is going on? Where is, I think we have literally a singular mechanic assigned to this work zone right here. Which I'm pretty sure... Did I not set this as part of a... I'm in animals, I don't know why it's like that. But, uh, lake water and power. Oh, the, yeah, okay, that explains it. It's not even part... Yeah, okay, I guess I forgot to put that as part of a work zone. Whoops. I guess that explains why there's no mechanic coming over here that can, uh, to fix it. But there you go, mechanic on route. And there, hey, there he is right there. Nice, nice. I am absolutely loving my job. My pay is fair. I can do with the rest. I can't get to my work zone. What? Is he talking about that thing? Because it's not part of the work zone, maybe? I don't know. Got 17 animals out of low- Oh, jeez, this happened off camera, by the way. But the Titan Beetles breeding like crazy. 17, they, they overpopulated over here. Insane. So let's go over here to animals. Maturity, species, Titan Beetle. We're going to have to do it the other way. There you go. Look at all these Titan Beetles. So all these guys just came, uh, became a heck of adults. So let's get rid of all these tiny little Titan Beetles. Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I wasn't I was really complaining, I, I was just pointing out that, yeah, these guys don't really last too long. But yeah, I guess 
one good side to these titan beetles is that they breed insane amounts at once, but that's also a bad thing too, right? I guess for right now we just keep the top two males, that way they don't breed anymore because they've been breeding crazily. Maybe we'll replace them with a different creature, but let's send them to the trade center and uh, exhibit trading. And uh, we could send them to another zoo, so that's going to be great. And $2,600 from that, so that's actually pretty decent money right there, you guys. Not bad. All right, well, there you go. So we have just two males in there right now, so uh, Transformer. Oh, now this Transformer's failing. Let's call a mechanic over the year. And uh, every year? No, every six months. There you go. Very nice. But yeah, I still have to place down education boards for the rest of the park. I guess gold has education things, too. Oh, look at that. In increased conservation rating to 4.5 stars. We already did that. I, I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah, look at that. Conservation range at five stars right there, so that's good. Breed eight new habitat animals of different species. That's going to have it naturally. Increase education rating to 2.2 stars. Yeah, we're at 1.7 right now. And all, like I said, all I did was place down these education boards over here. If I place, you know, elephant and uh, zebra education boards like right here. Maybe even some uh, giraffe ones, too. Just kind of randomly mixed in. Uh, and if I place more of them over here. Then, of course, spotted hyena and uh, wild dog. Place them over here and over here. That's definitely going to get our uh, our education rating up, like maybe even past 2.2 stars right there. So we're going to have that no problem. And then this one right here, adopt and place two new West African lions. That's going to be a really good one. And then have at least 2,600 guests in the zoo. Of course, once we place down those lions, those, those guests are going to be coming in here like crazy, you guys. So I don't need to worry about that. Those are going to come hand in hand. But uh, the education rating thing. Oh, look at that. It went up to 1.8 now. So that's good. 